for coming. Uh, everybody knows uh, Mr. Johnson over here. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, I don't know you either, so that keeps us on, <laughs> that keeps us on an equal ground. Uh, I'm the guy who sends all those little emails, and you see those M for him at worknetncc.com. That's me. Okay? Uh, thank you first uh, for coming. Thank you for giving us your time. We want to make this a monthly meeting in the evening. Uh, last Tuesday of the month, depending on the availability from the library, I think I'm pretty sure that we have got the next couple of months lined up. But Bob would be sending uh, emails out. Uh, the idea of, the, of, this, of this meeting in the evening is to share with you things that, uh, that we are finding in the market that we are learning. We are also trying to bring in people who have succeeded from this group and to come and share their stories of success so that we can all learn from them also what is happening, what is not happening, and also some housekeeping. Uh, everybody knows that we pay for your lunch yeah. when you do the workshops. So in this end of the month meeting, if you could please bring me the receipts for the lunch. Up to six dollars. Up to six dollars, that's what uh, Bob says. So Unless it's up to ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. we, we have poor people. It's your money, basically. You know, it's, it's the tax money that <laughs> we are using. So we would be happy to, to reimburse if you could just bring the receipts out at the end of the month. Uh, Julie is our workshop coordinator working in the office. She started as a volunteer. <laughs> and the first opportunity that I had to add to my team in the office, guess what? She comes on board, doing a phenomenal job of coordinating all of these things and a lot of other things. Jeff started out as a volunteer with us, Jeff Hitz. First time uh, we had an opportunity in the office to bring somebody in. Jeff walks in and Jeff is there. Shirley, very Shirley. Very Shirley. Started off as a volunteer with the group and Shirley is working with uh, our career advisors uh, in the office now. Still not a full-time position, but whatever that we can do to help you through this process, uh, we are willing to do that. I wanted to share quickly a, a new report that came out. Uh, it is the annual source of higher study so that you folks can get to share some information in the workshops. Uh, the workshop job search techniques, I'm changing that. We should have it up uh, by April 1st, which is Thursday. And everybody will get copies of that. Uh, I'll send it out to, to Bob. Okay. And uh, one thing which I did hear from somebody in the, in the uh, dispense library when we had a job fair on Friday, the people are ignoring your, your emails now, Bob. Which, which library? In the in this place library, I, I, I met a couple of volunteers and I got a lot of things from Bob. I just ignored them. <laughs> <laughs> so some of them didn't show up here, okay? But oh, that's the, their loss. The people that yeah. I'm invited? Mm -hmm. Oh, I emailed them five times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I emailed them three times and I personally knocked on doors of one people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as of uh, last Friday, as of last Friday, 52 volunteers have found jobs from our group. Uh, we had a total of how many, Julie? About 80 plus so far. Julie, about 80 plus so far in the volunteer group, right? Pretty close to that, yeah. A little Well, some of them are boomerangs. They are coming back. Uh, okay. But uh, that goes to show a couple of things. Number one, that you know, you are amongst people who are who really have a positive attitude, and that is uh, the thing that is really working uh, working now in today's market. Uh, the sources of higher study that I have over here kind of reflect what we have been saying in our workshops, except for one thing: the sources that uh, that we talk about, we focus on the return on investment for the hiring dollar. So this is not an ROI based study. This study is strictly based on a a study of where employers are hiring from. And uh, you will see that uh, in 1997, newspapers were the primary source of hire, with about 27, 28% of hiring done, done through newspapers. Now it is 2.5%. Okay. So it, it does reflect a lot of what we are seeing in the market. Uh, we had a job fair Friday at the Displains Library. Ten employers came, and they had jobs. Now the job, uh, job fair focused on uh, the people who have gone through our WIA program 
And one thing which I want to do with everybody here, please sign up for the WIA grant program. You guys don't have to attend an orientation. Let me know if you would like to go in for the grant. And uh, how many of you are, are part of the WIA program? Show of hands, please. Okay, so not even, uh, you know, 10% from the group that I see here. If you would like to get into the program, yes. Do you have to be receiving unemployment? Not necessarily, Ruth. I mean, that is one of the criteria. Yeah. That the grant is based on 1D or 1A. 1A is uh, based on uh, family income. Mm -hmm. But you, if you're part of the program, number one, how many of you are going to Harper College for the Career Stimulus Program? you got to pay $86 or something for that, right? $85. $85. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> if you are part of the WIA program as our volunteers, we will pick up that cost for you. Okay? So uh, we did get board approval for that uh, to pay. So anything that we can do, little things like that, we will be happy to do. And the career stimulus program at Harper has, has been very successful also. Uh, one of the things that, that you will see in this report real quick I'm going to put this up on our website too. So I'm not going to spend, there's like 50 slides, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. <coughs> but one of the things that you, that you will notice is uh, networking is at the top of how, you, how people are finding jobs now. <coughs> networking to me does not mean sitting in a group of people who are unemployed. Everybody stressed out. The people who do get employed don't show up in that group. Uh, that's not what my form of networking, my idea of networking is. Uh, my idea of networking, it uh, is going to be part of the new slides that we are bringing out together. Go to your local chamber of commerce. You know, go attend their meeting in the morning. They have business breakfast, business before hours, business after hours, and these are local business people. Guess what? They might know somebody that you may know somebody and someone that's where you need to be. Go to your alumni association. See if your uh, college has an alumni association. Go to every trade fair that you see happening in the Chicago market. Chicago is a huge market for trade fairs, from the convention centers downtown to the Rosemont Convention Center. Plastics Expo the other day, uh, 900 companies sharing technology, technology expo. So you may not be looking for a job in that particular field, but every company has other jobs. It is not just the people who are doing the technology things in there. They got support staff, they got HR, they got uh, accounting, I mean, they got IT. And you get to see which companies are actually doing things now. That is so important. Okay, uh, let me quickly share this with you. We've got a few other presentations going on today. And I really don't want to take too much time. Let's see. Okay, 27 million people on the internet in 1997, okay? 